Good morning, wonderful family. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Thank you for always stopping by to watch my videos. In today's video, I'll be talking about some dreams and their meaning. Okay, what it means to see yourself being naked in the dream, wearing school uniform in the dream, fetching firewood in the dream, and returning to the village in the dream. Okay, yes, these are four dangerous dreams. And each time you have this kind of dream, you don't just relax, okay? You need to be on your knees to pray and cancel whatever that is taking you back to the village, that is making you go back to primary school, okay? That is making you naked in the dream, okay? The first one of it, I want to start by wearing school uniform in the dreams, okay? Somebody that is a grown-up, a full-fledged man or woman, seeing yourself putting on your primary school uniform that is a very bad omen what that means is pure setback and stagnation you are going back to zero if you're not careful okay yes if you if you do not go to school or you're working if you want to have a progressive dream it should be when you see yourself doing your phd or you know not going back to nursery school or primary school you see yourself writing on the uh, chalkboard no, that is setback. The enemy is setting you back spiritually. Okay, you just see it as a normal dream. You may go see your old friends, you be playing with them. That means they set, they're setting you back from zero to go and start life afresh. So when you see that, when you dream of such dream, please, my brothers and sisters, it is time for you to pray. Okay, at the end of the video, I will tell us what to do about it. Okay, all the dreams have just one solution. So I'll be talking about what the remedy at the end of the video, okay? So another dream is seeing yourself naked in the dream, completely naked. That is what that means spiritually is that they have taken everything that belongs to you. You are left with nothing, okay? That is why some people, when they have that dream, they will see their, they will dream uh, in the real life, their house will get, uh, catch fire or their shop will catch fire and they will, bring out, they will not bring out any pain from that place. They will start life afresh. They will start from grass to grace, uh, from grace to grass. Okay, they will go back to square one. You see somebody that used to, you know, eat well, and the person will start begging. Okay, because he saw the dream, he saw it as a normal dream of being naked. After all, they are just my nakedness, nobody's own. That is mean. That means poverty, pure poverty, removing everything that belongs to you spiritually. So when you have such dream. It's time for you to sit up in your prayers and pray against any spirit of poverty, any spirit of setback, okay, any spirit of fire, any spirit of the 419. Because those people they may send people to come and dupe you, dupe you of your hard earned money, and that is the beginning of hardship in your life. Okay, that dream has so many meaning. It may be a fire outbreak trying to consume your properties. It may be death, maybe your husband or your wife, somebody that is the pillar of your family, or your uncle or your mother, okay, the pillar of your family, and once that person is no more, you know what it means. Life will be very difficult for you, okay, or you, yeah, your business partners will just have a problem with them, or if you're an importer, it can mean, mean, can mean your consignment being sunk in the high sea, okay, so these are the meaning of being naked in the dreams. So when you have, have such dreams, don't just neglect it. Don't just see it as a normal dream. Please watch the video to the end so that you get the remedy and what to do immediately. Okay, so that that the plans of the enemies in your life will not come to pass. Okay, another one is seeing yourself going back to the village. How can you be in the United States of America, in London, England, uh, and other big countries, and you see yourself going back to the village? Famine. Some even go there, see yourself in the village famine. That is sign of poverty, sign of setback. Okay, the enemy is trying to take you back to where you're coming from, for you to start life afresh, for you to start suffering again. And this is your suffering. There will not be remedy if you're not careful. Okay, God has uh, has blessed you, so the enemy don't have any right to take you back to square one. Okay, forward ever and backward never. As long as you're on this channel okay so when you have such dream of seeing yourself returning back to your home your village my brother my sister please sit up 
watch the video to the end for the remedy that is a very bad dream it means setback poverty okay going back to hardship serious hardship and this kind of hardship your friends your family will reject you no remedy nobody is going to help you you hear some people they say that when they were rich you were helping people now they are poor nobody is helping them but you had such dream what did you do about it you do not pray and cancel it okay so you may if you are outside you may even have police case before you know they will deport you and when they deport you they will seize everything every kobo you made in that land it happens to people so people can you know it will, your wife or your wife there may set you up they will seize everything you be, that you worked hard for and give it to the evil woman to eat and you come back nigeria empty-handed so when you have such dreams please it's not time to smile it's time to go to god in prayers okay then another one is fetching firewood in the dream that is another bad dream that people just dream and neglect they'll think it's just a normal thing ah after as long i fetched firewood oh it was fun I, I really carried a very big firewood in my dream and if i knew i had such powers yes that is what some of you will say wow i saw myself in a very thick forest fetching firewood if i killed a snake i even fought with a lion and all that you think is a very good dream no it is a very bad dream going back to poverty the way i mentioned the poverty you know that is not something i want you to test poverty is not something one need to test so if you are not comfortable please look for a way to upgrade yourself in a good way a legit way poverty is not something that you're, you're, you should wish for your, your worst enemy in this life okay so when you have such dream that means poverty abject poverty that kind of poverty that to even eat one square meal will be by the grace of god you need to beg before you eat there are some people if they don't if people don't give them money they cannot eat it's not as if they are not hard working they will work from morning to night nothing to show for it they'll still come back home looking for somebody to borrow them money to eat or who that will, or somebody that will sell things on credit for them but they have a shop okay but because the devil has positioned you that you must suffer that position you are in here and he's not comfortable there he wants you to start from grass Please, my brothers and sisters, reject it. It's not our portion. Okay? So when you have such dream, just get me an onion. Yes. And I promised to make this video yesterday. If you watched my yesterday's video, I talked about onions and garlic. I told you that the spiritual use of onions is numerous. Okay? So get me an onion like this. You pray that any spirit of poverty, watch me. Any spirit of poverty, setback, stagnation in my life, okay? Any spirit of poverty that the enemy has positioned in the form of dream to affect me in real life, I reject it in whatever name you belong to, uh, you believe, you be, whether you believe in Jesus Christ, whatever name you, belo you believe, just pray with whatever you believe, okay? If you're a Christian, you pray in Jesus' name, okay? That I reject it from today, that it will never be my portion. I will know poverty. Poverty will know me, will not know me. I don't have any reason to relate with poverty. Okay? I will never be poor. Be poor. My family will never be poor. Okay? We are we are meant to help people, not people helping us. Okay, we are meant to be givers. We are not meant to be beggars. Okay. As an I take authority as a child of God to declare that. Poverty will not know me in this life in the mighty name of Jesus. Okay? This is the kind of prayer you're supposed to pray. As you peel these onions, whatever the enemy wants to take from you in, in the dream and the real life, as you feel it, you're peeling it out of your life. Make sure you peel these onions completely. Yes, yeah, scatter the whole onions. Let all of them be in pieces as you're saying the prayer. Just be peeling it as you're saying the prayer. That nothing like setback in your life, nothing like poverty in your life, okay? That you will never test poverty in your life. As you're doing it, just keep peeling the onions, peel it to the last onions. After that, in all of them will be like this. This is what you're going to do with it. You're going to pour it anointing oil that you are burning that poverty, that spirit of nakedness, that spirit of kind firewood, that spirit of setback, that spirit of poverty. 
you're burning it today you're anointing yourself you take that uh, olive oil anoint yourself from here to take a bottle of olive oil you're going to be doing this prayer in the night you're going to a bottle of olive oil you're going to anoint your head from head to toe if even if you're wearing wig uh, even if it's a uh, post threat or whatever please if you can remove it or if you can put it on that hair because if that poverty come you will sell that hair to eat okay so don't mind whatever hair you're carrying start anointing your head that you anoint your head today from head to toe that you will anoint your head that you'll be rich you'll never be poor that the enemy cannot set you back after doing that you take your fuel or crazy whatever you have burn that onions with charcoal make sure you burn it you burn to large uh, ashes after that you throw it away if you can if you can dig a grave if you live in a place you can bury it fine if you don't live in a place you can bury it, just trash it out that is the end of poverty that dream will never come to pass in the mighty name of jesus okay so when the enemy is you know they you know when they do that then they will give you time you say ah, before this time next day you'll be in the village with us they wait for you to infinity they will not see you okay just carry out this simple assignment and reject every spirit of setback in your life okay yes i know you enjoyed the video please don't forget to subscribe like the video share share the video drop your comments under the comment section i will always be there to attend to you that is the end of today's video see you in my next video and have a blessed day bye bye